Good morning. Today we're going to go through a video on my 2005 Harley Davidson Sportster XL 1200. We've been working on it. I've been a little busy, but I want to do a video on winterizing the motorcycle and the things you must check. We'll go through the oil, the brakes, tire pressure, battery, and uh, how to place it on, and keep it on a tender through the winter. Start bike, let it run down so the carburetor is not filled with fuel, and check the primary chain. With that, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is let the bike warm up. Okay, I just took it for a test ride. The first thing I'm gonna wanna do is start her up, turn the gas off, and let the carburetor burn all the fuel so this gas cannot go bad in the carburetor and cause you all sorts of problems over the winter. It's utmost important. Out of anything we do today, that's the most important besides a battery tender. So with that, let me start it up. What we're going to do is go to the other side of the bike and shut the fuel off and let the bike run until she dies of gas. I put a white dot and you got a white dot right there on on. Right now she's on reserve. dropping the bike stopped the battery is at 12.9 it was at 13 so that tells me the stator and the regulator are working just fine the battery sits at 12.8 the bike has shut down the petcock is on off now there is no fuel in this system to cause you any kind of problems next year I'm gonna let this sit a little bit and we're gonna check the oil level a lot of times it's easier when you remove the seat, so I'm gonna do that. This tends to hit, becomes a big problem. Okay, let's check the oil. I like to see halfway, the bike is warmed up. A lot of times the seat will get in the way, cause problems. Clean the stick. I'm gonna put a two by six under the kickstand to level the bike up a little bit. And let's see what this reads. Turn it. You can see, that's why I like to see it. 
in the halfway point. There's your low line. Right there, I'll clean it. Get used to the stick and how it reads. This one don't have a top line. There's your low line. And we'll try it one more time. Hope you can see it. I like it there. You can bring it up to about here. We just had this bike running. If you overfill this, you will notice under your air filter, you'll have oil on your hands. Just run your fingers under the air filter. What it does is this gets overwhelmed, your breather, and we'll kick it into the intake. And that's usually the start of a whole bunch of other problems. The next thing we want to do is check the belt tension. All right, we want to check the belt tension. As you can see, take your hand and flex the belt. Three eighths to a half inch and you're good. This one's good. It's a good thing to check. Now we want to check tire pressure. I like 41 in the rear, 38 in the front. We're all good with that. Then let's check the primary oil. All right, what we're going to check is the primary chain tension. be little o-rings gasket you can see this is tough for me with the camera and everything you can see your primary chain and what you want is three eighths very hard So now, if I could take that chain, the bottom of it, and get it to this line, you're good. Okay, I'm gonna place this cover back on. This is for your inspection. Can only go on one way. Like we talked about before, make sure these O-rings are in place or she will leak. And don't tighten these crazy. As you see, the O-rings and that rubber gasket will get the job done. A lot of times I'll see the O-rings deteriorate or even gone. And bikes still have oil. It's hard to tell. The oil is so clean it leaks down. That's it. Snug it up. Now what I'm going to do is remove this cover and see what the oil level is in our primary. I broke them loose with this 27 torque. I went... And that's how I loosened it, diagonal. I'll keep this one, there we go. Now let's remove them. These bikes like to be straight up and down. If not, you will leak oil. Let's see what we got. I can see a drip or two coming out. There'll be a spring for your hub adjustment. Be careful. Don't let it surprise you. What you want to see oh, 
this bike is on a, a two by six and you can see the oil is right there one quart one quart of oil and this is good right there if you held this bike straight up you'll see it right at the diaphragm that's your clutch diaphragm right there like I do my primary changes, I'll do it here, one quarter oil, that's it. Save yourself a lot of hassles, but this is just so you know. Mobile one, axle, high temp grease. See this fits right back in, no problem. Sometimes this O-ring can be a problem. Now you see the grease helped us out. Evenly put this on. Now that wasn't too bad. And you'll notice the gasket has a taper to it. The taper side in. But you need the grease to hold it in place because the bike is warm. Let's put the rest of these on and then tighten them. And don't get crazy. And this can only go on one way. You're indexed by your clutch cable. Now, when you tighten this, you want to do the same cross pattern. I like to just end it up by Checking each one. Oh, I see that one's still loose. And there we go. Now to start this up in the springtime. So now in the spring, it's on off. I'm gonna put it on reserve. The white dot and on is at 12 o'clock. Six o'clock is reserve. I'm gonna hit the choke. And this is in the spring after it's sat a month or two. It'll pull the fuel into the circuit and she'll start up a little rough until all the fuel runs its course. All right, let's try. system fuel in a carbureted sportster or any motorcycle just creates problems because of the ingredients in the gas today ethanol deteriorates the rubber parts so to let it sit for two three four months there's a good chance you will have a carburetor issue do this and you'll have no issue now you see it's on off now when spring comes, you got to remember, I'm going to put it on reserve with the choke. And now I'll start it up. You know we just killed it. You see how fast this Sportster pulls the fuel into the circuit. 
if you're going to let your bike sit for any period of time, shut the gas off, run the carburetor dry, and this is good for your lawnmower, any carbureted bike or motor. If you have any questions, just ask. Thank you for watching. And if you could, please, thumbs up. And leave a comment if you see something you would do to winterize your motorcycle. It all helps. Ride safe and have a great day. Thank you for watching.